A crackdown on distracted driving caused by phones is up for debate in Lansing. New bills are aimed at extending Michigan's texting and driving ban to include holding or using a cell phone behind the wheel. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast explains what this means if it's approved and why it's personal for a father leading the charge. Just Drive has been an ongoing campaign from the Kiefer Foundation. They're dedicated to bringing an end to distracted driving, and it's all in honor of a young Metro Detroit man who lost his life seven years ago. Mitchell always said he wanted to change the world, so we said we're going to change the world in memory of him. Steve Kiefer is a father on a mission. In September of 2016, his 18-year-old son Mitchell, then a freshman at Michigan State, was driving back to campus when suddenly his life was taken in a crash on I-96. Traffic slowed down and she was distracted on her phone and just didn't see him slow down and, you know, rear-ended him. Steve says the driver hit Mitchell at 82 miles an hour pushing him across the median into oncoming traffic. He was hit by a truck and died instantly. We know we'll see him again sometime, but uh, it's uh, in the meantime, we're going to do as much as we can to honor his memory. In honor of Mitchell, the family started the Kiefer Foundation, raising awareness for distracted driving and pushing for legislation. The stretch of road where he was killed is now named after him. Every day I, I drive up to Lansing, I see that sign. State Representative Matt Colazar says Michigan's distracted driving laws that passed more than a decade ago are outdated. It banned texting while driving, but that's it. You could be on social media or you could be streaming a video. Uh, that is all legal under state law. A new bill he's sponsoring would make it illegal to use your phone at all while driving, with some exceptions for hands-free technology. The Kiefer Foundation has been involved in drafting this legislation, getting it passed in states across the country. In every state where we have these, these um, bills passed into law, the crashes are reduced, the um, deaths are reduced, even insurance rates come down. Steve is hopeful the bills will be signed into law by Memorial Day, an ambitious goal fitting for a young man who never backed down from a challenge. We just celebrated his 25th birthday. I know he'd be doing amazing things right now, and uh, in some ways I know he is doing amazing things by keeping us motivated to get this done for him. And the committee hearing is tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. in Lansing. Lawmakers say it does have bipartisan support. There are three bills in total. Two are sponsored by Democrats, one sponsored by a Republican. I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.